Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel and welcome to another edition of me trying out Chanel Beauty. So their fall 2021 makeup collection has arrived online. Last I checked, it was a little bit difficult to navigate on the website where the products were. There wasn't a Chanel Fall 2021 collection. I'll take a look and see if it's there or not. But if it's not, I will have the four links of the four different types of products in this collection down below for you guys. Now I didn't pick up ever Everything from the collection. I picked up at least one shade of each formula to try out, but I did not pick up the nail lacquers because I don't take care of my nails. It would be a waste of money. But this is the 2021 collection, which has a focus on tone on tone. So there are four main focuses of color in this collection. And there was a great article on nylon that I will link down below for you guys explaining the collection. It says the four tones are a terracotta, a reddish brown, an assortment of khakis, and a warm gray. And there are three different products circling around each tone. So there's going to be an eyeliner, a nail polish, and a liquid eyeshadow for each tone as well as a blush. But the blush does not correspond with the tones. If you are looking for swatches of the entire collection, I recommend you check out All Feisty. I will put her video down below. She bought one of everything of the collection if you really want to get a feel for the tones. She also used to work as a makeup artist at a Chanel counter as well. So she's very well versed in the brand over all. If you don't know this, I'm pretty new to Chanel and I'm trying to really acquaint myself with the brand and get to know the formulas more. Without further ado, let's get into what I picked up. So there's only one blush in this collection. It is in the shade Ombre. This is probably what I was most excited about. It's just this gorgeous neutral toned blush. I do not have a blush that really looks like this, so I'm very excited. The next product are the contour sticks. Now there are four shades in the collection. I only picked up the shade khaki but like I said before there's going to be a burgundy tone, a gray tone, and a beige tone as well. This looks so stunning and super super malleable. The next formulation are liquid eyeshadows. I actually picked up two of the four shades. I opted for the bronze color which is going to go with the khaki contour stick. And then I also picked up the ivory more beigey liquid eyeshadow. We'll get into that in a second. Huh. I ordered a lipstick and it is not in my box. That's really disappointing. Let me check. Did I get charged for this or did I order incorrectly? They did not put a lipstick in my bag. Well, very disappointing news. <laughs> I ordered one of the two lipsticks that launched and they did not put it in my box so I'm going to have to contact customer service to get that $40 lipstick sent to me but yeah unfortunately now I no longer have a lipstick to try out for you guys but there were two shades. There's the shade Low Key, which I'm showing you on the screen right now. This is the one that I picked up. It looks really beautiful. Unfortunately, I can't show it to you today. And there also is Mode, which is a little bit more of a reddish kind of shade. Definitely a very great fall tone. I'm sad. And I hate contacting customer service. I never end up doing it, but I have to do it this time. It's $40 at stake here. I'm in my Sunday morning get up, so just ignore that. But customer service update, very great. I have my new lipstick on the way to me. And I recommend if you have any problems with your order, just use the chat service straight on the Chanel website. At first, I emailed them and then got an email back that they were backed up and it might take a while. And I was like, mm mm. So then I went online and I used the chat service. And right away, their associate was so helpful. And the lipstick should arrive to me in like two days. They're also, of course, were the four corresponding nail polishes did not pick them up as far as I'm aware everything with the exception of two nail polishes are going to be limited edition so if these are colors that you are interested in you might want to pick them up let's take a deeper dive into each formula and my thoughts so we are going to start off with the blush this blush is $45 each blush is going to come in a velvet bag if you did not know semi-recently Chanel did reformulate their blushes. I actually had never tried their 
previous blush formulation, so I can't tell you if it's better or not. In fact, I've never even tried their blush formulation. This is my first go around. They've had this packaging for forever, and this is what the shade looks like. It's very, very neutral. It has an 18 month shelf life, and it's made in France. Let's swatch it, shall we? I'm gonna put it underneath that eyeliner swatch that I had, but you really can't see it too much on my hand. I'm very interested to see how this shows up on my face. Let me clean off my brush. All right, here we go. I'm using a Flower Beauty blush brush. I do have the original Tande Chanel on, but it's the older formulation, if you're wondering what's giving me that little bit of warmth right here. This is really pretty, very, very neutral. However, this is definitely a very limiting color for other skin tones. I'm a light medium, I would say. This probably won't show up if you are any deeper than myself. If you are deeper than me and you've tried this, please let me know, but you can see I am really really packing it on it's very very subtle for me i like it though it's a great everyday blush something just to add a little bit of a color there normally i go for more pinky blushes i like an obnoxious flush like that so i really don't have a blush like this in my collection so I'm very happy with this. I think if you're fair and you do not like the look of blush too much, this has your name written all over it. I think it's very, very pretty, very subtle. I like it. I like it a lot. And especially since it's such a unique shade in my collection, I feel like this was a good pickup. So we are gonna go into this eyeliner. Now they say you can use this as an eyeshadow and an eyeliner. So I picked up the shade Contour Khaki. It's a coal pencil essential. I'm gonna get a brush. I'm using the Isum V33 here. I'm gonna try and blend it out as eyeshadow. When I swatched it right here, it was so smooth to apply, so I feel like it's gonna be an extremely malleable product. So I'm gonna blend this into my outer V. See if we can work this out. I do have this formulation in one other color. It's like a very light metallic brown shade. And I really, really like this formula. It's really nice. So you can see that did blend out. It did add a little bit of depth here. You can see how malleable these are. If you have oily eyelids, I don't think your eyelids will love this because it is an extremely malleable product. I find that it does dry down and stay pretty still, but for the most part, I really use this as a waterline color or a base to a powder shadow. I'm gonna put a little bit more. You can kind of leave it like this to dry if you did want something more opaque, but I'm working on that blend. But this is really great because you can use it as an eyeshadow base or on its own. So I wanted to use this brush to create the fade here, the blend here. But now that we have the blend down, I'm gonna take some on my finger, I'm gonna pack it onto the outer half of the eyelid. And that's gonna be our base shadow for today to play with these liquid shadows. Make sure I'm zoomed in all the way. Listen, I knew I liked this formula before, but now having a matte version, I'm really, really liking the versatility of this product. Would I choose it over a powder eyeshadow for this purpose? Probably not, but very happy with this. I'm gonna run it along the lower lash line, just in the outer half right here. I'm gonna take a small brush, just gonna work it out. <sighs> so nice, and then I'm gonna put some in the waterline. What a beautiful product. Now these are $34. As you know, I mean, you should come to expect with Chanel. It is going to be pricey, but I really like this. As somebody that's very new to Chanel, this immediately I think is worth it. It's time to move on to the liquid eyeshadows. Now I picked up two shades because I couldn't decide. I've never tried this formula before. These are $36 each. I am missing the burgundy shade and the gray shade, but I did pick up the ivory shade and here's what the applicator looks like. Let's swatch it. Can be sheared out but that's what that looks like. This one I was excited about. This is the bronze one. So I can see that it can definitely be sheared out. So I'm interested to try this. So I'm gonna put right in the middle of my eyelid. I'm gonna use my finger to blend it out. 
that blends in perfectly with the stick that I just used, that tone on tone kind of theme. Because this, I mean, it's a look, right? Before it dries down, I'm going to use that original blending brush. Make sure these edges are not going to get patchy. Might as well just put it in the outer corner as well over everything. I'm definitely going to need to practice playing with both of these formulas a little bit more and using them because my application, you'll see, is not perfect. My crease. With that liquid shadow, I just made look so patchy. I mean, I'll be honest, when it comes to the stick, <laughs> I probably won't use it as a shadow because I feel like these two are not agreeing with one another. Let me see if I can fix this. It was going seamlessly up until this point. Okay. That didn't help. I'm gonna have to touch it up off camera, but I did want to show you the ivory shade like this. This is my plan. I'm gonna use this small brush to blend it out because I think my fingers made it look really messy. Now layering over the first shade does not seem to be getting clumpy or flaky like some liquid shadows would do. So I'm not writing this off. I actually think it is nice, but I think my approach to application probably could improve. These are subtle. Normally with liquid shadows, I do prefer something that's a little bit more metallic or glittery, but I'm not expecting that from Chanel. They look pretty and I like how they didn't clump up. It's, it's the stick that I tried to blend out. That's giving your girl some problems. Give me one moment, I'll be back. I'm gonna fix this. <laughs> okay, knowing what I know now, I'm just redoing it. I couldn't fix it. I I think I, maybe it's not as versatile as I thought. <laughs> and as much as I want to just restart this entire video because it's kind of been a hot mess, been forgetting things, it didn't send me something. I mean, this is realistically me trying these products and this is, this is what is happening to me. So we shall leave it in. I just packed way too much of this cream product on to try and get too much pigment at the end of the day. It's for something soft, I think. I don't know if you do know Chanel well, because I know I have a few of you that do. Let me know if I use this wrong. We're gonna go about this a different way. I did leave the lower lash line because I think the lower lash line looked fine. It was just the eyelid. So I'm gonna go at it a different way because I've decided if I'm gonna use this, I'm also gonna use a crease shape. <laughs> That's powder. We're gonna use it as an eyeshadow base now. It's like that. You see it is extremely, extremely malleable, but it does blend out to be very, very subtle. I don't wanna touch it anymore. I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna go into the ombre blush, which I do really like. I'm gonna blend this into my crease. There we go. Now we are talking. This blush is really pretty in the crease. Can't believe it looks like this on the cheek, but like this very gray and cool packed onto the crease. Interesting, because it does not look bad as a blush. I just wouldn't think it would look like that on the cheek. Anyways, <laughs> we're back. I'm gonna try the khaki again now. Don't know why I think this is a good idea, but let's do it. Little by little, what is the best way you guys like to apply these? Is it like I'm doing it? Is it, I think this is what caused it to be messed up the first time, but this is the way that I apply my cream in liquid shadows. Okay, okay, this is what got me into trouble the first time. What am I doing? Learning a new liquid formula can be very, very dangerous. Where's that brush? Let me blend it. No, it dried too fast. I, I can't get it to blend out. No. <laughs> I don't think you will ever see another Chanel review that's like this. What am I supposed to do? I don't think this is a liquid shadow formula for me. I need to keep it to powders or something. <sighs> what is a girl to do? We're gonna try a synthetic brush. This is the Esam W21. JK, this brush is definitely not synthetic. It's not that I think I think it's bad. I think I'm the one that's bad. I'm like packing on way too much of it now. Wait, get off. 
how do you do this? I think the shade is just too dark. I'm having too much problems because I liked the light one, but this one is too dark. I need to have a dark base laid down already instead of this little dark shadow that blended out to almost nothing underneath. So I feel like the only way that this shadow would be appropriate and look good is if I had a dark powder shadow base so that this wouldn't show. And these dry so quickly. Oh my goodness. Chanel! Here we go again. I'm gonna be bullied by the Chanel experts. Last try, here we go. Ombre blush. Love this blush now. Suddenly this blush is the best thing <laughs> in the collection. I feel bad because I know these formulas that I've put on my eyes are so loved. I just haven't figured them out yet and I'm probably making you guys cringe. <sighs> I don't know what to do. I liked this technique. Just doing this, thought it looked good. And this, stick you do have playtime with which i do like unlike some other products i like this i like the stick i was worried it was a stick it's not the stick i like the stick <laughs> this is dang color why am i torturing myself and trying this again i don't know one eye at a time i'm not gonna pack it on i'm just gonna keep it down on the main part of the eyelid keep it low morgan don't take it too high i can deal with that this is tolerable I think I put too much on this one. Slow and steady, patience. This is a very subtle liquid shadow. Like once you blend it out, it's not crazy looking. Oh, you see it is? It... <sighs> see, I consider myself to be relatively skilled at makeup, you know? I'm not a celebrity makeup artist by any means, but I can pull together some looks, but I'm really struggling with this shadow. Okay, we're gonna try the light one now, the ivory one, which I really like. This one is good. Put this right over top. The inner half though. Keep it to the inner half. It just brightens things up. Just like that. We're gonna stop there. This is all I'm doing. Am I in love with the look? No. Will it have to do? Yes. I think a big issue here is this is not the style of makeup that I'm used to doing and I'm trying to force these products to work the way that I use them. And we are not agreeing here as you can see, but we pulled something together that I don't strongly <laughs> dislike. I need to get some lashes on though to fix everything. We are gonna take the stick that I just broke from opening the cap at an angle. Lucky for us, there is a sharpener at the end, but I'm gonna do this without sharpening. I'm going to tight line with this. I'm gonna take an angled brush and I do want this as a liner. I'm interested to see how this wears. Since I don't have a lipstick to put on, I'm just going to put on the rest of my makeup and hope it comes together. And I'll be back to give you my final thoughts. Bye. <sighs> I was gonna put false lashes on, but I'm feeling defeated. <laughs> I started this review so optimistic, so excited for a new Chanel order. Um, and unfortunately, we had some difficulties. But let's talk about my final thoughts on what I do have from the collection. The ombre blush, I really, really like this. I like it even more now that everything else like, didn't work out for me. Very, very subtle though. If you like a really subtle blush, I think you might enjoy this one. I'm really happy about it. It's a really unique shade for me and for what I typically wear. So for me, this was the number one thing that was worth it in the collection. As far as these contour sticks, they're called the Stylo Ombre y Conto. I really like these. I know I struggled at first as I was getting to know the formulations and its limitations and at what it could really do. I'm gonna still wear this look to see if it lasts well as an eyeliner. Maybe eyeshadow isn't my favorite form of wearing it, but I do love how malleable it is. So I'm going to leave an update right here to let you know how wear time was, but I really do think I like this. I would consider getting more colors in the future. Maybe not all at once because it is pricey for one. If I do continue to use this, I can see myself purchasing more colors of these. Editing me again, just wanted to update you on Wear time. I was impressed with how everything wore. The eyeliner, it didn't last in my waterline for too terribly long, but any part of the skin that it touched, it faded a little bit, but it was pretty good given how much playroom 
that I had for it. And I mean, the liquid shadows were fine. Everything were good, so we're good on that. The liquid eyeshadows really tested me in this video. I know so many of you guys do love this formula. I've heard great things of this formula. So if you're able to make it work, <laughs> tell me what I did wrong. I think the dark shade was just extremely difficult for me to work with. I did like the ivory shade right here. It's pretty, but these are softer. They're not going to leave a metallic finish to the eye. You can see it's just soft and subtle and it's pretty. It is a look, that's for sure. So I do not regret picking up the ivory. I think it's pretty, but I'll be honest, I don't see it as something I'm going to grab for. The positives on this though, they are not going anywhere. Even on my arm, like I could press super hard, they're not coming off. Um, and you'll see that that contour stick did eventually dry down as well, but you definitely have a lot more playroom with this. But just know, do one eye at a time with these. The regretted purchase is going to be the dark shade. The only way I can see myself making this work is if I lay down a dark powder eyeshadow base for this to work with, but yeah, I really struggled with this one. So unfortunately, I don't have the lipstick to review for you guys, but that was my experience <laughs> with the Chanel Fall 2021 collection. If you love Chanel, seriously, don't take this video to heart. <laughs> this was all me, all me. I'm not even calling this a review. This was not a review. This was Chanel versus Morgan and I lost. So that's all we have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. At least saw this as a form of entertainment. I don't know. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Have a good one.